God is a perfectly just God. And that raises some terrifying questions. Doesn't God have to give me what I deserve? How can God possibly have mercy on a sinner like me? I think I'm safe in assuming that most people who are interested enough in this topic to click on this video probably share at least two basic assumptions. God is a just God, and we are all sinners. But one thing that I don't think is safe to assume is that we all truly understand just how bad our sin really is. In the Bible, it says this, For whoever keeps the whole law but fails in one point has become guilty of all of it. And it says, Without the shedding of blood there is no forgiveness of sins. And the wages of sin is death. Sinners deserve death. I deserve death. Eternal death for me would be justice. So if God is a perfectly just God, and I'm guilty of sin that deserves death, how can God possibly have mercy on a sinner like me and still be just? If God chose to not fully punish my sin, he wouldn't be just. Well, God acted mercifully in a way that kept his justice intact. Sin needed to be punished, but God mercifully chose to take that punishment himself in the person of Jesus. He paid the debt that we could not pay in order to bring reconciliation. 2 Corinthians says this, We implore you on behalf of Christ, be reconciled to God. For our sake he made him to be sin who knew no sin, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. And then in Romans 3 it says this, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified by his grace as a gift through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus. Let that sink in. God's justice was satisfied by Jesus living a perfect life and then being killed on that cross. Adam, as a federal head, disobeyed and brought sin to the entire human race. But Jesus, as a federal head, obeyed and died for the remission of sins. That shows how serious my sin is, but it also shows how deep God's love is, that he would take the punishment for my sin. But God's justice doesn't stop there. There's another aspect of God's justice that often gets overlooked. It would be unjust for God to require two payments on the same debt. And the debt for sin has been paid by Christ on the cross. For God to require additional payment on that debt would be unjust. I want to read a verse that I've probably read a thousand times, but when I learned this aspect of God's justice, I started to see this verse in a whole new light. It's 1 John 1, 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. He is faithful and just 
to forgive. What does justice have to do with forgiveness? I think I read over that so many times without even realizing that the word just was even in there. Or when I did start to realize that it was in there, I think I just assumed that it meant something like God would keep his promise to forgive. That certainly is part of it, but it's the faithful part of it. God keeping his promise is God being faithful. This verse doesn't say God is faithful and faithful to forgive. It says God is faithful and just to forgive. Jesus Christ paid the debt that no one else could pay. And for those of us who are in Christ, it would be unjust for God to not forgive us. Let that sink in just as much as the other aspect of God's justice that we talked about before. God's justice requires a just punishment for sin. And apart from Jesus, that is terrifying. But Jesus stepped in and took that punishment. He paid that debt. And so God's justice requires that everyone who's in Christ is forgiven. Anything else would be unjust. This has a lot of implications for our conversations on Catholic and Protestant theology. Uh, For example, I've already done a few videos on purgatory. And the idea of punishment in purgatory for the same sin that Jesus has already died for as satisfaction is a big problem. I've also addressed merit a few times as well, and what we've talked about here just simply is not compatible with what the Catechism of the Catholic Church says about merit. This is going to come up again in future videos where we talk more about the topic of salvation. But for now, I think we all can see that one of the most important questions that we can ask in light of all of this is, are we in Christ? Am I in Christ? Are you in Christ? Did Jesus pay your debt? And now God's justice requires that you are forgiven. I'll leave you with a few of the verses that we read previously. For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, and are justified by his grace as a gift, through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God put forward as a propitiation by his blood, to be received by faith. This was to show God's righteousness because in his divine forbearance he had passed over former sins. It was to show his righteousness at the present time, so that he might be just and the justifier of the one who has faith in Jesus.